I just come out of a major engine maintenance inspection in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I was climbing up to 17,000 feet to start doing the maintenance checks. And at that point, I heard a noise, I felt a thunk from the engine, and knew my right engine had failed. After being in the simulator here at Simcom, I had seen it so many times before that really I knew what had happened and you know my muscles just reacted in terms of knowing what to do and the steps to take. I went immediately to my training and went through the memory items to immediately shut down the engine, followed that by looking at the checklist and shutting down the engine completely and then declaring an emergency and returning to Tulsa Airport on an uneventful basis. That's what we're drilled on at Simcom in terms of memory items for an engine shutdown. It was the kind of thing, it was a disturbing to have the engine shut down, but at the same time, uh, it was a non-event to call Tulsa Tower, get clearance to return to the airport, and make what for me was a normal single engine landing after having trained at Simcom. I've trained year after year for the last 10 years in the Simcom simulator, doing that same emergency over and over again. Uh, I never thought it would happen to me, but when it did happen, I realized how many times it had happened before, and it just wasn't that big a deal as long as I did it right.